You know, so Carl, uh, there's some scuttlebutt about an intervention. A lot of the names uh, that were mentioned have sort of rejected that idea, but it's not, it's not unreasonable to think that uh, everyone will huddle together over the weekend at Trump Tower, and if so, what do you think those closest to him are going to say? Well, I don't know what they're going to say, but I do know this. First of all, and I put this in my column in the Wall Street Journal this morning. First of all, there needs to be a disciplined plan about what this campaign wants to talk about and when they need to talk about it. Somebody needs to have a plan. Now, they'll need to adjust it because events will intrude. But having a framework that says, here's what we want to be talking about and when we want to, want to be talking about it is the first essential. Second of all, nobody in this campaign is sitting there watching what Hillary Clinton is doing and, and, and rapidly figuring out how Donald Trump can seize those opportunities. I was sitting in the green room on Sunday morning at Fox News Sunday waiting to go on the panel watching Chris Wallace's interview, and there she is talking about uh, lying about her, uh, her email records, making misstatements about Benghazi, opening up all kinds of, uh, of opportunities for him on the Second Amendment, and then making these statements on the economy. And I'm reading the Twitter feed, and it is Donald Trump saying, I was viciously attacked by the Khan family. Uh, I, can't I defend myself? So somebody needs to be monitoring these things so that they jump on them. And finally, somebody needs to get a hold of that Twitter feed of his. He, Somebody needs to say to him, Donald, really think yeah. about it. Does this advance our cause before you tweet out that next message? You know, I did see, I guess, over the last week or so, it felt like there was a rapid response team uh, on social media uh, responding to events in the news, you know, sort of bang, bang statements after statement. And it felt professional, felt uh, urgent, and, and it felt, and it felt timely. Well, and look, that, the biggest part of this is the candidate, and he is not responding that way. Think about it. I mean, again, Friday, what did we see? Not jumping on the GDP report. What did we see? And he could have made a couple of days of that. Sunday, she makes misstatements on the economy on, on her email server. He could have done something with that. So, I mean, we've had two weeks in which he's been basically off talking about something entirely different than the economy and security, which are the two driving issues sure. in, this ra sure. in this race, nor has he been talking about change, which is the underlying dynamic that favors him in this election. Yeah, uh, 70 to 80 percent people want change depending on the polls. Carl, thank you very much.